Hi, welcome everyone. I'm John Person from PersonsPlanet.com and with me right now is Carolyn Baroden, Fibonacci Queen. Her website's FibonacciQueen.com and if you're not familiar with Carolyn's work, a lot of people are. I've known Carolyn for, well, four <laughs> decades, but we want to get into that. Uh, we've known each other a very long time from her uh, first introduction at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange yeah. when she ran the desk for Bank America Financial Futures way back in the day. Uh, she's come through the years with amazing work and right now a lot of her popularity, in fact she's followed by many major analysts including you may be familiar with a guy by the name of Jim Cramer from thestreet.com or Mad Money. And Carolyn, you're a participant, and yeah. you you supply a lot of work. It might make him look better than he really is at times. I'm just joking, right? <laughs> yeah. So he's actually cited a lot of your work, yeah. and that's exciting because that gives a lot of credibility when you're you provide good information. Yeah. So here's what I'd like to ask on behalf of all the viewers. Okay. Are you price based only, or do you use other indicators? Well. Volume. I I don't really use volume, but no I volume. use timing. Okay. But. See, when most analysts say they're timing the markets, they're talking about the price action, not the actual time axis. So what I do is I literally measure the time between key highs to highs, lows to highs, you know. And so a lot of cycle work is yeah. intertwined with Fibonacci yes. number ratios. Yes. Yeah. So for those that aren't really familiar with Fibonacci, what, is your, what would you tell them that is the most important component of using Fibonacci work? Well, you're, you're using this work to develop an edge in, True. in the market. Right. And the methodology actually just automatically does that for you because I'm only going to find you a setup, for example, if I'm seeing a pullback within a trend, or you know, whether it's a, a bullish trend or a, or a bearish trend. So you're, you're looking more for, if your work is long term, you look at weekly charts. Yes. So what you would say, or I think what I was interpreting you saying is you buy pullbacks in longer term bull trends. Yes. So your work wouldn't do counter trend work. So you're looking to buy a pullback and your timing element is using Fibonacci work. Well, I actually have to tell you, I did not write about anything counter trend in my book but I did just do a video on how you can actually use the work, you know, as I've learned through the years for counter trend trades. And it's not going to be the highest probability setup, but when some of them work, when we have both time and price coming together because you have to have timing for a counter trend trade, it's actually worth looking at. So Carolyn, um, a lot of people in the audience, this is the Traders Expo, which means there's all types of markets, there's cryptocurrency is mm -hmm. popular, there's volatility product like the VXX, yeah. there's all types of people that are interested in different styles and markets. Uh -huh. I think a lot of people are also day trading E-mini S&Ps. Mm -hmm. How does your work help day traders in, in this field? Um, it actually works great for intraday trading. Now typically I'm going to look or I'll start with a weekly chart on the S&Ps and then a daily chart but the charts during the trading day, I'll be using a 30 minute chart, a 120 minute chart, and a five minute chart. And you'll find day trades all day long, as long as you, you know, also go down to a five minute chart. So, you know, it works on the intraday also. So big support resistance targets and timing elements is applicable for day trading. Yeah, and ideally it fits into the larger pattern, I mean, because that, that will work out better, typically. So. so I hope everyone understood. She doesn't just look at a day trade chart. She starts on the chart scale left and looks right. So higher time frame, lower time frame, which is interesting because a lot of technicians mm -hmm. or a lot of people you see on the financial TV, yeah. they're only looking at daily charts. And they go, look at the trend, and I got a pattern and a wedge and this and oh, that. Yeah. And, 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 and oh, I got a head and shoulders top. But they're not looking at longer term analysis. You're, you're missing a lot. I actually have a good few examples in the presentation right. today that come from weekly charts. Well, you're going to give me a good run for my money too because I'm going to be talking almost similarly. So I, that's okay. what I love about okay. good traders is that a lot of times we're both on the same page. If you're not familiar with Carolyn's work, I encourage you go visit FibonacciQueen.com. Thank you for joining us here at the Las Vegas Traders Expo. Thank you very much. Okay. And thanks for joining us everyone.